welcome back to the channel and I have a very old motherboard in front of you today this is to replace the old motherboard that died on my old computer but I did want to open it up with you guys because I, I bought it on eBay and I wanted to see if I wasted my money I spent about a hundred on this US. You can get it cheaper if you bring it in from China for about 60 or so. That takes time for it to ship to the US. So I wanted to get it pretty quickly just in case something was bad. And when we open it up, the first thing we see is a sealed up NVIDIA SLI bridge. I don't know what graphics card this would be good for. That is a small bridge. I don't know if you can see there but it's all still sealed up, which is pretty cool. They gave us a SATA cable. It's either red or pink. The original disc driver. Oh, oh, and a case badge. How neat is that? They sent them out back in the day, especially back at this point in time, more than, more than most had dial up. So you had to have this to be able to get yourself going. What do we got next? We got our user guide in four or five different languages and then oh look at that look he actually sent the io shield it doesn't look used i mean there's oh okay yeah there's a couple bends here a couple breaks right there where tabs should be but i mean for seven years old six years old it's not bad and this guy He's pretty neat. You can put all of your tiny pinouts, your IDE LEDs, your resets, your power, your speakers, all that onto here, and then just put this block right onto the motherboard instead of having to do it piece by piece. That's pretty cool. And then the reason that we bought this deal, the actual motherboard. Close this up, pull it out, see what we got. Well, that's pretty neat. I mean, it's a motherboard like anyway. Let's look at the I.O. here. So it looks like we have a USB 2, um, a PSX, optical out, HDMI, and display port, as well as VGA and DVI-D. That's pretty cool. For something this old, having a, a display port. We have uh, four USB 3.0, our Ethernet, and our audio out. So then if we look down here, there are four RAM slots, 24 pin, a switch for a GPU boost. That's what it says right there is GPU boost switch. Look at that. And then right next to it, we have DRAM LED, MEM OK. I have no idea what that button does. Six SATA ports, two of which are SATA 6G and the other four our SATA 3G. We have our CPU, of course, our 8-pin power for the CPU. We have a chassis fan and a CPU fan. Back over here, we have a USB 3 header, another chassis fan, our pinout for power. One, two, three, four USB 2s. Sorry, that's our COM port. And then another chassis fan, a TB header. I don't know what that is. But then as far as these go, we have two PCI 4X, two PCI 16X. I don't know what those are. Network control, maybe, but it's SLI ready. This board, hopefully, it still works. Oh, look at that. I wonder if this board's new. It's still got the plastic on her. Sure, I should take it off while it's in, the, when I set it in, but you know, it's just you and me right now. Let's enjoy this. I wonder if this board's ever been used before. This is a heat sink for our PCH, and this is a heat sink for our VRMs, I would imagine, just as heat sink one. So this is the motherboard that will bring our old computer back to life. One lucky relative will be getting it. That is the ASUS P8Z77VLK. This is actually a bit of an upgrade from our previous Z75 chip motherboard six generation old motherboards any edge we can get is a good edge to have there is our socket retention bracket there is a bend to it doesn't smell bad you know sometimes you can get that electric smell we will be able to fill up most of this 
Next episode, we'll be tearing all of the old computer out and installing this, as well as a new cooler, cleaning her up, and getting her ready for the next owner. This was a quick little checkout of an older motherboard. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!